In his last year on the court, Retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens ruled that lawyers must tell their clients about deportation consequences of pleading guilty. At an immigration conference at Cardozo Law, he discussed his reasoning. It treats really a class of defendants much more harshly than people who are equally uh, guilty of whatever the crime may be. I mean, a minor drug offense, like delivering a modest quantity of drugs, can cause a lifetime injury to the particular person if he's not a citizen, whereas if he's a citizen, he may spend 30 days in jail or something like that. The lack of good legal representation for immigrants was the focus of the conference at Cardozo. The fact that so many can face such dire results at the hands of our legal system without the benefit of competent counsel is one of the most blatant injustices of our time. Federal Judge Robert Katzman organized the conference along with the Immigration Justice Clinic at Cardozo Law. Judge Katzman formed a study group of 50 lawyers who are working to increase pro bono activities of law firms and find solutions to the problem of poor representation. I was struck as an appellate judge by a, what I perceive to be a substantial threat to the fair and effective administration of justice. Judge Katzman's task force issued a report at the conference saying that 60 percent of detained immigrants in New York City do not have lawyers. There, there's such a huge disconnect uh, between uh, uh, the reality that immigrant communities are facing and the, the, the response um, uh, that our nation has, has um, produced. The Catherine O. Greenberg Immigration Justice Clinic at Cardozo Law has provided support for clients as well as becoming a major advocate for government policies that respect the rights of non-citizens. There's a common misperception that uh, facilitating deportation of individuals who come into contact with the criminal justice system, who end up at Rikers, um, is good for public safety because we're, we're getting rid of criminals. But the reality is a lot of these people haven't actually committed any offense at all or have committed some sort of minor violation. And they're actually active members of communities who are supporting families and are, you know, working and, and are honest, you know, hardworking New Yorkers. Recently, students testified at City Hall hearings. DOC is wrong in their interpretation of the legal requirement here, and you do not even have to take our word for it, you can take ICE's word for it. There is no legal obligation for the New York City Department of Corrections to honor ICE detainers. Justice Stevens commended the Cardozo Clinic and others for pro bono work helping immigrants. He also called on Congress to revise immigration laws. How, how unfortunate it was that Congress took away the authority of both state and federal judges to withhold an automatic order of deportation. And there's just an overwhelmingly obvious unfairness in having that dramatic a difference in the consequences imposed on relatively similar behavior. 